Yo, what is up guys, it's Nang here, and today we are going to be automating almost everything on Tinder. Pretty much what I mean by this is that we're going to be using Tinder's API, some Python, as well as some machine learning in order to automate everything from the likes to the conversation. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just head right in. So yeah, here I have a flow diagram because I'm extra. Huge shout out to Jenny because she's letting me use her account. Uh, I don't know, it's just, I just thought that it'd be easier to use a girl's account. So yeah, we're going to set it up on the Tinder app. We're going to be using this Python script uh, that uses the Tinder API to automate the likes and get all the data and stuff. And once we have the matches, we're going to be using Diagflow and it's going to be having conversation with all of Jenny's matches. And then after a few days or whatever, if the person has to hang out, uh, use Twilio to send a text message to Jenny with a picture of the guy, I guess. And um, yeah, all she has to do is say yes or no to the hangout and then um, Hopefully, uh, I'll go back and it'll all work. Okay, that's. I think that's it. Let's do this. So what we gotta do is we gotta go on Tinder, sign up with the phone number, and we are good to go. Then we just gotta head over to the API, do this authentication, stick it in right here, and test it. Mm. So yeah, it works. Now we're gonna take it up a notch and we're gonna output all the recommendations for Jenny. Yeah, this is a lot of data, so we just have to make it look nicer. Sort of. And once we get through that data, we can just print out what we want. So right here, I just printed all the bios of people. So yeah, this guy has a wife. This guy's 6'3". This guy likes the Warriors. This guy's an aspiring DILF. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But what we want to do is automate the likes, not stock people. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, it works. It just goes through and automatically liked all the people. Then we just make this run every couple minutes or so. And our first part is done. Then for the conversation, we're going to be using Dialogflow, which is Google's machine learning platform. Then once we're in, we're going to be creating a new agent, but we're going to be training it to become more human. So Dialogflow does a lot of the back end for us, but I just filled out the small talk and I put in training phrases followed with responses. We just add this into the fulfillment and deploy it. So it's already been trained with our training phrases, but if we put anything similar to how you're doing, like HYD, it's gonna recognize that this is the intent and it's gonna reply with something that we put that sounds like Jenny. What we gotta do now is connect it to our Python so we can actually use this. Here's a script to test this, and um, yeah, it should work. Wait, fuck. Oh, I see. So I need to add this, and yeah, as you can see here, it works. So I put in HYD, and it recognizes it, and it replies, I'm good, how about you? So what we need to do now is have the Python script be able to talk to the Diagflow script. And we're going to be doing that by getting the matches and the messages and passing that to our Dagflow script, which will then be able to send a reply to the Tinder app. To be able to get all the matches, we're going to be using the Tinder API again. And I made the script here to get all the matches. So let's try it. This took kind of long because there's an error on the Tinder API, but it's all good because it's working. So yeah, again, it gives us a lot of data about the matches, which we're going to have to parse and extract what we need. Yeah, here we have a few of the messages, like this guy's saying he loves Jenny's long hair and his smile is perfect. And this guy's asking what to do in San Jose, you know, all this shit. So now let's integrate these with Dialogflow. I pretty much combined the two scripts that we had. So I made this function that gets past the message that we had. And it's going to get the reply based on the machine learning from Dialogflow. And it's actually going to reply that message to the people on Tinder. All right, let's try this out. Here we have what was printed, which is pretty much the same thing we saw for the Dialogflow. Except this time, it's actually the messages from Tinder. And if we go to Tinder, let's see if it worked. So it sent all these messages. And it worked for some of them. Like this guy's asking, how's your night? And we reply, I'm great. How are you? I guess that kind of works. But for some of them, like this guy's asking a question and we, we just laugh. This happens because the bot doesn't recognize what the person is saying yet. So I just set the default response to some kind of generic laugh. But don't worry, we're going to make this a whole lot better right now. 
Okay, so now I made a little bit better with some intense and some training to help the bot learn. And we're gonna test it by having a conversation with the bot. So we're gonna say hi. I was gonna say hey, and we're gonna say like, how are you doing? Great, how about you? I'm good too. And it says yay, but keep in mind, this is gonna be a reply to the most recent text. So pretty much if someone says I'm good too, they're gonna follow it up with another question. What are you doing? I'm just lying in bed. <laughs> so we're gonna say, what do you like to do? And she says that she likes watching Netflix and sleeping. So now we're gonna ask to hang out and we're gonna say, are you free to hang out? And the bot replies, what day? Because I set it to have parameters, date and time to schedule a hangout. And we're gonna say tomorrow. And I ask for the time, let's say 8 p.m. And it says, let me check. And we're gonna deal with this on the back end. When the person asks to hang out, we're going to be using Twilio to send a text message to our phone. Here I have a script to test the text messaging, as well as a mirroring on my iPhone. And when we run this, we should get a text from Twilio, which we do. So all we have to do now is send a text message with all the info of the Tinder person that's asking to hang out. Uh, right now I'm pretty close. I just need to find where the images are stored. So here I'm printing the user data. and Let's see, this is looking at all the people that we're supposed to reply to. And here, let's see if this is actually the image. So we're just gonna put this link right here and yeah, this is the image. Let's just stick that guy in right here, as well as the name. And we're gonna be passing this to our Twilio function. Oh, finally, so now let's actually run this. And sure enough, we get a text from Twilio and it says, after talking with you a bit, Colin wants to hang out tomorrow at 5 p.m. Would you like to? And there's a picture of Colin. All right, so quick update. It's having conversations with this guy. He's saying, what's good? We're saying nothing much. He's saying, I'm doing good. Do you have a snap? And it says, it doesn't have a Snapchat, but you can ask me to hang out. And other than that, it says hi to people. Yeah, this conversation is also pretty good. Um, but all in all, it's definitely getting better. Anyways, for getting the message from Twilio, we're going to be using webhooks, which means we're going to have to be implementing Flask as well as ngrok. ngrok right here takes care of the tunneling, and we have this Python script running right now. So if we go to respond to our Twilio account, we'll be able to get a reply and our response is stored. I guess so it's currently 3 o'clock AM. Yeah, I don't know. I've been grinding this because I have to go travel tomorrow, so I won't be able to work on this. And I just, I don't know, I just really wanted to get it done. I don't think that's going to happen, so that's uh, kind of a bummer. But it's okay. We're just going to run the automated replying chatbot overnight. I set it to run every five minutes. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Pretty much it does what we want it to do. It has a conversation with these people, as you can see here. And if someone asks to hang out, it's gonna request for a time and a date like a normal person would. And it's gonna send me a text with the person as well as a question whether or not I wanna hang out with them. Then all I have to do is reply and we're gonna take care of this. The only mistake that I made was that I forgot to set it to not reply the response request on our back end. So the person ends up getting a text with some machine date time shit, which confuses them. And lastly, for the Twilio listener, I pretty much set it up here with the script and how it's set up right now. If we do want to hang out, then we would go to Tinder and check if we actually want to hang out with them based on the conversation and we can confirm specifics and stuff. Other than that, if we're just not interested, it will reply, my bad, I can't hang out. I hope you have a terrific day. So pretty much now we've got all this shit working. We have Dagflow talking with Tinder and as well as Twilio and Twilio can talk to Jenny, which will go back to Dagflow and the Tinder app. Okay, so that wraps up our video for now. Definitely the chatbot can be improved as well as I was thinking about implementing something that could look at all the people's pictures and rate them on attractiveness and that will determine which ones are swiped left or right. But yeah, I have a flight to catch, so I'll see you guys on the next video.